Hey guys, I'm Leo Ryan to the Guitar Maniac. In my last episode I showed you my very own custom strat made by Pluck on Guitars and assembled by me personally. And actually, when it was almost ready, I took a time to test a couple of pickups. And basically I was looking for the non-expensive pickups for my G-grade guitar and I figured out that testing those pickups with a high quality guitar would be fair. The only question that I wanted to answer with this test is whether those pickups are good or not. The question is, what is actually a good pickup? Many people refer to it as an open sounding. What does it mean? Well, let me put it this way. There are a lot of frequencies and a good pickup should be able to transfer them all. Well, of course, different pickups have a different voicing. For example, some of the pickups have a boost in a mid-range and they are referred as um, warm sounding pickups. Some have more trebles and those are kind of bright sounding pickups. But actually, all of the frequencies are there, some are just boosted more than others. A good sounding pickup has a lot of dynamics, besides it can transfer a lot of details, for example, the attack of the peak or the mellow sound of the finger picking, and this is actually not the case at the low budget guitars. And in this case you might ask a question, is it worth it to replace the pickups in the guitar that is probably less expensive than your pickups? In a case with my Ibanez RG7321, it was totally worth it. What about G-grade? That's where I draw the line. You see, I don't want to invest much money in this guitar, and that's why I was looking for a cheap alternatives to my favorite Dimarzios. Well, a couple of things about the test itself. I see a lot of videos in YouTube where people just kick it in an overdrive and put a lot of distortion on the sound of the guitar, and this isn't the right way to test the pickups, because distortion makes all squashed and I want to hear the open sounding of the pickup. And you can't really hear the difference between different pickups in the hard overdrive. And so I test the pickups only in the clean mode. And here are the pickups that I'm gonna test today. First of all, this is uh, Dimarzio Virtual Vintage. And I use it only as a reference pickup, because I know it's good and I want to compare it to the other two. The second one is South Korean Giovanni GCS Tech Pickup. I think that they are at some point affiliated with the Altec Sound Technologies and I can't really complain about their products. I used a couple of stone boxes, they're really nice. And actually I couldn't find those anywhere except one small online store in Texas. And so the South Korean pickups were shipped to me to Germany from the Texas USA. And I really hope that they are good. And the third one is a Wilkinson pickup. And this is the original pickup of the G-grade guitar. And this is the one that I want to get rid of. And I figured out that maybe this is a guitar that's bad. And I want to make a fair test for all of the pickups. And I want to test this one with a good guitar. And here comes my favorite part. Blind test. Well, usually after blind test I don't leave any comments and let you be the judge, but not in this case. Let's take a closer look at the Wilkinson pickup. 
This is just squashed sound in pickup with no trebles, and it feels like all the frequencies are cut except for one certain range. And actually, it's kind of hard to play this pickup, because when I don't hear the nice attack of the pick, I try to hit harder, and this isn't the point of playing the guitar. And what about the Giovanni? Well, this one does have trebles, but no low end. And in the end, this one is exactly the same squash sounding pickup as a Wilkinson, but with a different frequency range. And this one has a low output, and it's actually harder to play the Giovanni than a Wilkinson, if that was possible. Well, the good thing, Giovanni is a stacked hum cancelling pickup, and I wish that more Pickup uh, factories would consider to do such kind of pickups because I like those uh, hum cancelling pickups. But if they sound as shit, what's the point? And I guess there is a good point where there are no much Giovanni pickups on the market. And so, if you see Wilkinson or Giovanni pickups, avoid them as hell. And so, that's all for today. Have a nice day and keep on rocking. And don't use shitty pickups.